The Big 12 is going to deliver yet again this Saturday. And it's Kansas State TCU, but we've also got Texas at Oklahoma State. Don't be fooled by Texas last week. I am begging you. I know someone out there is going to fall for it. Someone out there is going to go watch, like I did last night. You're, you're going to watch the replay of Iowa State pushing them right to the brink, and you're going to say, hold up. Texas is favored by nearly a touchdown on the road, and they almost got beat at home against, checks notes, Iowa State last week? Give me all those points. We predicted it. We expected it. And, and I'm someone who's had Texas inside the top six over the last couple of weeks. So I think higher of them than the AP does or pretty much anyone else. We expected them to nearly get beat last week. It's just if you look at the schedule and you've ever watched this sport for a length of time, when they did what they did to Oklahoma, and they knew they had Oklahoma State on deck, and you got a three-loss Iowa State team coming in there, that is sleepy. That student section wasn't close to filled at kickoff, and we were going to get exactly what we got. A close call. So we predicted on the show, close Texas win, and they got the close win. Uh, could very well have lost that game a couple of different times. Doesn't matter. All the history books will remember is that they won. Now, the question is not what they did against Iowa State and whether it's going to carry over. Here's your question. You got to decide this for yourself. I have a good idea where I stand, but you have to decide this for yourself. Is this the new Texas or is this the same Texas? If it's the new Texas, then last week doesn't matter and you will see their best performance Saturday. If it's the same Texas, I've got a whole mountain of stats that Jesse gave me that would indicate they're in big trouble Saturday. Because the old Texas, the same Texas, they haven't handled these spots very well. A new Texas will render all of these stats irrelevant and moot and they will start kind of a new trajectory for themselves. So that's what you have to ask yourself. As you make your own prediction, as maybe you bet your own money on this, new Texas, same Texas. Texas is minus for a reason here. So you know, you know where odds makers are on this. They're not always right, but you know where they are on this. You got to decide where you are. You also have to do your best to find out where Spencer Sanders is, the Oklahoma State quarterback. He played last week. Uh, that's only half the story. You know, he had a bum shoulder. He didn't get to practice all week. And as a result, he turned in the worst statistical performance of his career. It was by 10 miles the lowest completion percentage of his career. And the info is sketchy at best right now as to whether he's going to play. Enter Oklahoma State quarterback Mike Gundy, who stopped by at his press conference to help us all out with some information on injured starting quarterback Spencer Sanders. And I quote, Let's all do ourselves a favor and not ask about injuries this week. Thank you, Mike. I sit here and defend him at all ends, and that's what he gives us. Let's do all of ourselves a favor. That did not do me any favors. I don't know how you feel. I feel very favorless right now. So I'm going to just blindly assume that we're going to get some version of Spencer Sanders this week. Can Oklahoma State do what Texas Tech did to Texas? Now, I know you got a different starting quarterback here. But let's just, for broad strokes purposes... Remember the last time we saw Texas in a true road environment. They were in Lubbock, and they lost in overtime. What offensively did Texas Tech do that day? Well, they ran 100 plays. Remember that. They went 38 of 56 for 331 yards through the air, and they finished with plus two turnovers. I would consider that a starting point for what Oklahoma State's offense needs to be able to do this weekend because I expect more from Texas, because I get Quinn Ewers in lieu of having Hudson Card. Texas's offense could roll here. You know, for, for all the bluster back and forth about how they struggled last week against Iowa State, well, when you don't have your full attention on an opponent and they're good defensively, that's the kind of game you get. And let me give you an example comparatively about what they faced last week and what they'll face this week. Oklahoma State defensively, is giving up about 28 points per game. Iowa State's at 15. Oklahoma State is giving up 301 yards, pass yards per game this year. 301 through the air. Iowa State's at 184. That's a legit defense they played last week. Uh, this one this week, not nearly to that degree. And so here's where I think it could turn because there's some edges there for Texas statistically. Historically, you got some edges for Oklahoma State. They're also at home off a loss. So you got all that going for you. But if you split this game into thirds, 
which wise men do, uh, the whole special teams dynamic for Oklahoma State, I would like you to pay attention to. They are the only team in the country with a kickoff return and a punt return for a touchdown this year. They've been really good. And if they can trade points, they haven't missed a field goal this year. They haven't missed an extra point this year. That hidden yardage battle, that could lean. That could tilt heavily towards Oklahoma State. And if you've got a close game here, obviously, that could be the difference. Let's take a look at the model. Let's take a look at Vegas. And let's decide for ourselves where we're going. Because we, as much as I praised the model earlier, are about to hardcore disagree with the model. Caesars line, Vegas line right now, Texas minus six. The model is drunk on Oklahoma State. They've got Texas minus two. They, they, the computer, all the keys on the computer. They have Texas minus two. This is the model yelling at us. Take Oklahoma State, fool, or else. And I am going to reside in the or else camp. We love Oklahoma State, okay? Hand over my heart. They have put us in more hype videos than anyone this year, including my own high school. So Oklahoma State loves us more than Harris County High School. But I cannot ignore what I think I'm seeing happen Saturday. And I really think Texas is going to play the best ball we've seen from them all year on the road. I just think it's a newer version of Texas. And if I'm wrong, I won't be the first one to have bought into Texas and been made a fool of. But you know what? I think I'm right. I'm going to take Texas to win. They are the second odds on favorite to win the Big 12 right now, right behind TCU. And if I'm right about Texas winning and TCU losing Saturday, we could have a new favorite there. We almost do anyway. There's very little difference between that one and two. So Texas plus 180, TCU plus 170. I think Texas is going to beat Oklahoma State Saturday. And I think they are going to cover in the process, although it is certainly not a best bet. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.